Sandia National Laboratories, Lockheed Martin Corporation, and their employees are delighted to be a partner and sponsor of this great event and opportunity for our youth and our future. One of the most impactful things I ever heard was one of uh, our graduates said that he came over from Guatemala where he was just a farmer on a farm. And he said, when you're a farmer on a farm, you don't have dreams. But it, well, it wasn't until I met some teachers and I realized that education can take you places that money can't. That's when I started to dream. And I was like, whoa, that is so deep and impactful. And so he meets a bunch of other great kids who are in a similar boat, similar situation. And here at the Hispanic Youth Symposium, they meet hundreds of volunteers and staff who are all about supporting these kids. I don't think anyone, especially myself, has ever experienced an entire group of people which every single person is for that, person, that kid's success. That was something that was mentioned by that kid. I've never been anywhere where every single person I've met over these past three days cares about me and is, is all about me being successful. So that, that's what the Hispanic Youth Symposium provides, is mentors, leaders, um, faculty members, and staff who are all about the success of these Latino students, and I'm very proud to be a part of that. This program, you know, they, I learned a lot of things that I didn't know before, and I realized in myself that I want to go and help and tell people that, well, Latinos, that they have, they have opportunities, they just don't know it. And, the inspiration I got from the Hispanic heroes helped me to it embraced my direction towards what I wanted to do because I see them and they enjoy what they do and they're doing good in life and that's what I want and I want to follow in their footsteps. My favorite part was actually just coming to the symposium. <laughs> so, because there's like so many kids nominated to come to this, so they can explore their like Hispanic heritage and learn more about college. So, just being a part of it and being chosen to come is just like so exciting. It's the professionals that we're hooking them up to. We're hooking up up to the scientists, the engineers, the doctors, the lawyers, the the, the leaders of the community. Since 2004, we've put 3,000 students through this program. The studies we've shown is that the the, the change in their intentions has dropped minimally over that course of time. Ninety percent of the students that are of the, the right age to go to college are going to college. Over forty percent of them are focused in the science, technology, engineering, and math areas. Absolutely critical to our mission. I want to make sure our kids understand that the opportunities before them can only be presented to them and it's up to them to take advantage of them. When those doors are opened up for them, we want to know not only that they, uh, it's up to them to walk through them, but that they can walk through them and it's really over there with them. The onus is on them, the responsibility is with them. If it is to be. 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 It is really up to me. It's up to me. It is up to me. It is up to me. It's up to me. I don't want to be the one that goes clean houses and I don't want, you know, because we don't have to go like burn ourselves in the sun. We can go to school and try and it feels like a lot of our teenagers are kind of scared. You know, I was afraid to be alone, you know what I mean? Like most Hispanics are. We're so sheltered at home, so when we leave, we're like, ah! And there's so many people out there that will help you. And that's what we're trying to do here, just get kids involved and get them to understand what they want for their future. We've lost a lot of people to a lot of really bad things. Um, I don't think we can afford to lose anymore. I don't think I can afford to lose one more kid to drugs. I don't think I can afford to lose one more kid to teen pregnancy. I don't think I can afford to lose, you know, uh, one more boy to a drive-by shooting. No, we can't, nobody can afford that. It's a social cost that, that is overwhelming and that, uh, you know, takes away from our future. It just does. If those brains stop working, who would have known that he was the best painter ever? Who would have known that he was going to be a, a brilliant scientist? So, you know, it weighs heavy on my heart. And what this program is doing is pulling people back from the brink. And it's enlightening minds. And it's feeding the natural curiosity that these kids have. And in first place, receiving a $2,000 scholarship is Juan Campa. No matter what, don't ever let anyone stop you from 
doing what you want to do. And that's my message to you. And I love you guys, truly. I do. And I hope. And it just feels great to be, like, to leave with so much confidence from this program.